The Dave Murray National Training Centre is a project that uh, I think all of us were looking forward to from the legacy of the uh, Olympic Games that was here a couple years ago. Now it's really exciting that it's, it's finally starting to move. It's really the completion of a legacy that was intended for the 2010 Winter Games with Vanock that never did get completed because of the economic downturn in 2008. After the Olympics, a number of key partners got together with the vision of finishing the Olympic legacy that we had always dreamed of. The Dave Murray Foundation, Whistler Blackcomb Foundation, the Kingsway Foundation, the Vancouver Ski Foundation, the Whistler Mountain Ski Club, and the community of Whistler. So many key individuals had a stake in making this Olympic legacy a dream so that Canadian racers, Whistler racers, can race at home, train at home, win at home. Ski racing has always been a little bit of a struggle to get training space on hills. When I first started ski racing, the only chance we got to race downhill was during the season. How can you possibly imagine training before the season starts, getting up to speed, going really fast, and so when you get to the first race, you're actually ready to go. What a miracle. I think you have to recognize that all over the world there's desire to be the best and in countries who, who, who that this is so integrated into their culture you can't compete without these facilities, without these venues, without these places that contribute to your confidence and your ability to go out in the world and take on the world. The center is going to be called the Dave Murray National Training Center and it really provides a home for ski racing as Dave Murray had always envisioned. You know Dave Murray was Certainly, I've known him for a very long time. Uh, he was a, a friend, a teammate, uh, someone who brought a really unique character to our our team. He brought a, a quality of, of, of honesty and integrity and um, focus to our group. If Dave were alive today, I think this would be one of the one of his greatest life thrills. And. Um, See, after his ski racing career, this is basically what he did. He inspired people. That's exactly what Dave would have really wanted to see, something that was a legacy that was enduring and that was helping the next generation aim to become, uh, get to the level where he had had. Construction started in July of 2011 with moving over 10,000 cubic meters of material and rock and repositioning to contour the slope into a world-class race training facility. Whenever we have training in that zone, it will be closed to the public. Any days when there's no training scheduled, the training center will be open to the public because it's a popular area on the mountain. People love to ski Raven Ptarmigan area, and they're going to continue to be able to do that at certain points. It's orientation with it being north facing and also at altitude, that, uh, that means that your snow quality is going to be better. Uh, ski racers uh, want to have as firm a surface as possible. In fact, as, as you, you want to get it as close as possible to World Cup race conditions. The support from the community and everyone that gave money to make this training center happen is really great and uh, makes us feel like we're not all just about hockey as Canadians. <laughs> what this means to the athletes is we're going to have a lot higher quality training center, more control over the snow, the hardness, the, the density, the terrain features, the safety that we may have in place. Um, there's going to be a lot more versatility in what they're going to be able to do. You can then speed up the process of learning all those skills and uh, I think what you'll see is maybe you'll get, get a, a more sound skiers at younger ages. We have many pieces of the puzzle in place already. From the summer grooming that's been done, the snow making that's in, the timing wire, we have the fiber optic cable down there. There's a few things that need to happen. One, we really have to up the ante in terms of the sophistication of the on-hill tools. Video cameras in, uh, up and down the side of the course, to have a surface lift go up there, to have a finished building with a viewing deck for, uh, for friends, fans, and family to, uh, to view from. Starting huts, permanent starting fixtures, so that this thing can be, whether it's for training or whether it's for racing, it's ready to go. It's a race-ready center. We also have to invest more money in this project so that it turns itself into that very thing we talked about, a very high sophisticated and great resource for our young athletes. If we achieve this venue here, it'll be one of the best contributions I think the country has ever made, that's ever been made, to furthering the cause of, of elevating our team to be in the, the best in the world. That's where you want to be. And if you're there and you feel like you belong there, you know, anything is possible. I am Rob Boyd, Sport Development Manager for the Worcester Mountain Ski Club. We would love to have your support and donations to continue to make this Dave Marie National Training Centre the world-class, leading-edge, best training centre out there.
every man and woman that goes to the top of that hill and decides to come down will be skiing over the same snow that the best in all of human history skied on. If I was to think what what's Dave going to want to see happening from this mountain and that is that there's going to be youngsters from the lower mainland, whether it be someone in the Wissa community, someone from Everton, someone from Vancouver, or someone from elsewhere in BC, is going to want to be able to take a dream, the germ of a dream, a vision of a dream of wanting to be an Olympic champion and someday be able to have a gold medal hung around their neck.